Hey baby girls, how's everybody doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is super super well today. So today we're going to be removing my sister's nails and we're going to be doing a complete different design and we're starting from scratch. So I want you guys to check out her nails, how long they are. We did one refill. Um, that was I think the past video that I did and um her nails grow super fast you guys super super fast but i tell her that she needs to come to me to for a soak off or for a refill every two to three weeks she's waiting way too long she's coming like at four or five weeks and that is way too long and i know she's always busy she's always working and stuff but yeah these are were very grown out anyway i don't know what i was thinking there i guess i was thinking that i was gonna do a refill so i went ahead and used my extra course no this is my course not extra course it's a course five in one drill bit from melody Susie, and um i was removing all that bulk off and then i was like you know what never mind we're gonna do a soak off and here baby girls i am so sorry i forgot to record exactly what i was doing but let me kind of walk you through it these two little containers that i have there are from amazon and i actually put hot water at the bottom of it and then i placed in the top part of it and then i added a little bit of acetone and then i let her hands soak in the acetone for about 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes once it comes out this is what the acrylic looks like if it's mma you guys you need to be careful it'll kind of look like gooey kind of and it's gonna look very like like i said gooey very nasty and acrylic kind of se arruga it kind of like um wrinkles on you kind of you know so as you guys can see here these were not mma of course because they were done by me <laughs> you always have to check your monomers that they are ema those are the safe ones and the, those are the ones you should be using for nail techs as i am um aware of mma is for dental use if i'm not mistaken so yeah you guys that is very strong for your natural nails so I went ahead and soaked them for the first 15 minutes and when they came out I went ahead and removed like kind of like the top layer with my cuticle pusher and then I went in with my drill and just removed any excess. Um, that's just going to help me you know it's going to help the soak off. Let me see let me put these words together. <laughs> It's going to help the soak off process speed up, you know, it's going to be a lot quicker and you're going to be removing everything just much faster, you know, because you're leaving thinner layers of acrylic on there, if that makes sense. So it actually took um, for certain fingers, for example, the pinky, the ring, and I think the index finger, it took about two soak offs, but the thumb and the middle nail took about three. But, you know, other than that, it was very, very easy to remove. And she usually, literally, you guys, I am so mad at her for this. But she usually just yanks them off her, her nails with her own teeth. And I'm like, sister, you, stop, you need to stop doing that. You're just hurting your nail bits. She's like, yeah, and it hurts. Of course it hurts because you're literally yanking them off. So I, I told her you need to either come for a refill every two to three weeks at the most or a soak off. Um, and yeah, so you can see here how grown her nails were. You can see there that they were super, super grown. So I'm just going to be taking a fine sanding band with my mandrill at about five to six RPMs. They're not that high because we are working on her natural nails now. So I'm just removing any excess of acrylic that might have been left off, you know, from the from from the set <laughs> and um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and remove everything that was left behind and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and cut her nails because she said they were so nasty and she didn't want her nails she just pretty much didn't want her natural nails you know what i mean so i went ahead and cut her nails down as you guys see here i went ahead and cut them down and um 
now we're pushing back her cuticles you want to make sure you you're pushing back those cuticles because this is gonna expose new growth and this is also gonna prevent lifting so you want you need to make sure that you're always 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 watching what you do with your nail prep your nail prep has a lot to do you guys if you're not doing it correct nail prep for acrylic gel legs um poly gel or even dipping system your nails will be popping right off so please make sure that you're doing a good um nail prep so next i'm gonna be taking my small this is a tiny 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 drill bit it's like in the form of a ball and i think i got this from one of my previous um drills that i had gotten before i'm not sure if it was one that's melody susie sent me i don't even know you guys but it came in one of those little kits that they send you with your drill bits i'm so sorry you guys <laughs> not your drill bits but your new drill so yeah next time i'm gonna be taking off any cuticles that were left off you know just hanging off the cuticle or the epinicum i think that's what it's called and um, i'm just gonna be removing them with my little tweezers here no are they tweezers cuticle nippers yeah that's what they're called i'm sorry you guys i'm all over the place it's monday just bear with me i know i've had a very harsh morning <laughs> so yeah just bear with me so next i'm gonna be taking my fine sanding band once again and in, and this time i'm gonna be taking at about three rpms just the lowest 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 rpms that my drill has just so that i don't do or create any rings on fire or anything like that on her natural nail because remember we are working with natural nail beds and since we did a previous soak off and all that you know i'm not doing very much to the nail um i'm just kind of focusing everything around that cuticle area where most of the growth was i'm not really doing much on the rest of the nail like i said it's mostly around that cuticle area because she did have a lot of growth so this is what the nails look like so far you guys and now they're ready for any application whether you're doing acrylic poly gel any 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 application you're doing and um this is what the nails are looking like and this is like my favorite part to me it's very satisfying to watch like how she came in and how everything is going you know what i mean it's just like a process i don't know i i just think it's it's very very satisfying to watch so yeah, next I'm going to be gluing on the tips. Um, she asked me that she wanted the tiny little tips that I have for tiny little sets like hers. And I didn't want to use those because it kind of looks like they kind of like flare out, if that makes sense. It kind of looks like if you're using the, what are they called? The duck tips or, you know... I don't even know what they're called, but they kind of look like campanas, and I don't know. I don't. I didn't like them. I have to file so much from them, and it's just, it's just a pain in the butt, honestly. And I was like, no, you know what? No, I'm just gonna use my huge tips. I mean, I guess I'll just cut them off. And yeah, so that's what I had. That's what I went ahead and did to all of the nails. I'm using my KDS glue to glue them on. This is a very, very, very fast glue, you guys. Whenever you have client back, like back to back clients, you want to make sure that you're working not fast, you guys. You got to take your time. Like you honestly, you got to take your time. But sometimes, you know, you see that the client is getting kind of frustrated and maybe she has things to do. And, you know, little things like that are going to cut your your time in half. So you don't want to be there with another glue or a cheap glue and just waiting five minutes each of the fingers. You know what I mean? This literally takes 30 seconds to glue on the nails. Not even 30 seconds. What am I talking about? It takes like five seconds. You just leave it, press it, and that's it, you guys. It's it's glued on. So the faster, the better. And um, like I said, take your time. Take your time, guys. Like, literally, don't take it the wrong way. Don't be saying that bomb nails told you to, to do your thing super fast. And, you know, no, 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 you guys. Take your time with your application. Take your time with everything you need to take your time with. But little things like that, I promise you, like, it'll... It'll make, for example, if you take two hours doing um, like a set of nails, you're going to be taking an hour and 50 minutes. You know what I mean? So 10 minutes, it's 10 minutes, you guys. You're able to eat a burrito while your next client comes in. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so after they're um, all glued down and everything, 
I went ahead and cut them to size and I was asking her like can I go a little longer she's like no because I can't type I'm like please she's like no sister I'm like fine so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just um, blend in her tip with her natural nail and then I'm also gonna go ahead and take my Tammy Taylor peel and stick uh, file just to remove like any I guess like if the nail is too wide, I'm going to try and make it a little thinner so that they're not that wide, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do all over the nails. And then right there, you guys can see that I was swatching some nudes for her because she didn't want the previous nude she had. Um, she's trying like new nudes every time she comes in. She's had the pink. She's had the nude from Not Polish. And now she wanted to try some, try some Valentino. So I was like, fine, okay, let's do some Valentino nude. And I think this is peaches and cream, if I'm not mistaken. I, I also went ahead and added the primer from Valentino. And I love that primer, you guys. Like, I freaking love it. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I start off the application by adding my first bead at the, at the apex area. Um, and then I try to bring down the product as much as i can as you guys can see there but i'm not making that much pressure to it i'm kind of just mm, i'm being very gentle with the acrylic because if you do a lot of pressure to it you're gonna bring the whole thing down and you're gonna be like what's going on so yeah um just try and do just very soft strokes on that and i promise you it's gonna it's gonna be easier and then my second bead goes at the cuticle area try not to touch the skin because again, if you're touching the skin with any product you're using, you will be having lifting. And that is kind of bad, you guys. So just make sure you don't touch the skin. If you do, go ahead and remove it quickly with your brush. The brush that I'm using on today's video is my number 12 brush from my online store. Pretty soon I'm going to have them restocked. Also, I'm also going to have the number 14 hopefully and probably the number 16. I'm not sure about the number 16, but the 14 for sure. It'll be up on my website pretty soon. And I'm also going to have new tips and I am so excited you guys. But there's new things. There's new things. Just wait for that. And the monomer that I'm using is the one from Not Polish. If you guys didn't know, we do have a discount code with Not Polish. And I'm also using the neutralizer, neutralizing drops on my monomer just so that the smell was a little bit more reduced and it wasn't as strong. And it does help you guys. It does really help. Not a whole bunch. I'm not going to say that it's a, it's a drastic change, but you can really see the difference that the monomer is a lot more... I would say a lot less you know what i mean so yeah you guys i'm gonna let you guys watch the process here and all that shebang of the acrylic and yeah you guys i'll be right back
Okay, baby girls, so the filing process, I left it out. I don't know why I thought I was recording, but I guess I didn't. So I'm so sorry. And so right here, you guys are just going to see me wiping everything off free from dust. I'm using a lint-free nail wipe and also a little bit of alcohol just to remove all of that. And here, I really wanted to show you something really quick that Nail Addict or Nail Reserve, I think that's their new name. I think they are rebranding everything, so that's their new name, I believe. Sent me these beautiful gels so that I can show you guys. And I'm going to be kind of showing you the name here. And also, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to swatch them here on camera. But I'm going to be opening each and all of them so that, so that you guys can see the color. And um, they actually sent me, I believe it's nine of the colors. They also sent me their matte top coat and they also sent me the remover. So I'm going to be showing you that towards the end of me showing you the products. <laughs> um but before that thank you so much nail reserve aka nail addict for sending me these beautiful gels i truly 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 love these gels you guys are very pigmented they're very easy to work with um i really like the consistency of them i really like working with nail addict or no you know what nail reserve i'm so sorry and I do have a discount code. It'll be linked in the description box below. If I'm not mistaken, you guys, I think it's 50% off. So take advantage of that 50% off, you guys, because you will not regret their gels. They are the bomb.com, I promise you. So um, as you guys can see here, um, I do have a couple of them that are kind of like into the more, I would say, spring sets or spring colors. And then some of them I did get some of them for like this one is more towards like for like winter because it's like a mauve nude. I, I you guys saw me on my last um not my last video but the last time they sent me some I did actually pick up some mauve nudes because I really love mauve tones for winter and I didn't have none so I actually what I actually <laughs> I actually picked up uh, another one and then this one is so beautiful this one literally reminds me of summertime so this is a very 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 electric red <laughs> just like the name says so yeah this is the matte top coat which I didn't end up using in this in today's video just because my sister wanted their she wanted her nails to be shiny she doesn't really go for the matte look I prefer matte honestly I'm a matte girl but she doesn't and um this is the remover and when once i opened it i was like what this this does not look right but i started looking into it and this is the actual consistency of it once you apply your gel you just apply you want to remove your gel you just apply a little amount on top of that gel and it's gonna start to kind of crinkle up and it's gonna end up like just lifting you know they also sent me this cute little lamp and um, I really, I didn't end up using it in today's video. I should have, I literally should have, but I don't know what I was thinking. I totally forgot. Um, I, I didn't use it. I'm so sorry. But hopefully in future videos, I will be bringing it out so you guys can see how it works. But it's just a cute little lamp. It's cute to have around if you don't want to like pull out your big old lamp. And this one is so perfect. So um, here's just the instructions of the little UV mini lamp. I'm, I'm sorry, LED mini lamp. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a 6 watt lamp. And it's so cool. It also has a 45 and a 60 second timer. So honestly, I thought that was pretty dope. Um, as you guys can see down here, of course, you have your little lights. And like I said, it is a 6 watt lamp. And don't forget to check out the description box below if you want to go and purchase some of the gels. Um, I will have the link and the coupon code down there, you guys. So these are the two gels that I'm going to be using in today's video. This is the white and I also decided, well, she decided that she wanted the blue, the baby blue and the white. And yeah, so I'm going to start off here with a super clean surface because you do not want to have dust on your nails. Or else the gel is going to look kind of lumpy and you don't want that. So yeah, I'm going to start off here by doing a little design that she got off of Instagram. I think, 
I think so you guys I'm not really sure but she showed me a picture and these nails were a little longer they were on the shorter side but they were a little longer than hers and she said she wanted something very simple just a very simple nail art for spring since Easter was coming up and um, she wanted something like this so um, I'm gonna be doing a white Frenchie on the middle nail and then I kind of did that little design on the index finger and I'm also going to be doing that exact design on the ring finger. And then on the pinky and the thumb, we're going to be doing some blue Frenchies. So for this, I'm using a gel, what? A gel liner, I was going to say, I'm sorry. A liner brush from Amazon. I've showed them to you guys before. They're the pink ones. You guys can kind of see the handle there. And these helped me out a lot. I really like them. If I can find the link to it, I will have them linked in the description box below. So now I'm going to be drawing or doing some little daisies here. So I'm going to start off with a little, she kind of moved there. So she made me put that little yellow dot <laughs> where it didn't belong. So I went ahead and removed it and then I'm going to be applying it more towards like the corner kind of. And I'm going to go ahead and cure that in the lamp for about 10 seconds, literally 5-10 seconds. And I'm going to be drawing some little white dots around it and then I'm going to bring them together kind of it's very hard for me to describe it so just watch what I'm, what I'm doing you guys daisies are very very easy to draw and they look super cute for spring designs so I'm gonna be doing that onto both of the nails and I forgot to show you the part where I went ahead and top coated everything but I did use my shiny top coat from my online store and yeah you guys this is the end result thank you so much for being here I will see you on the next one Stay safe, God bless, and bye-bye.